All right, let's add a couple more widgets and see if we can break this thing. I've already added them and the code's been written, so we'll just go through them. First one is a color chooser up here, uh, GTK color button. Uh, and the color button comes from a GTK color button, which you drag and drop up there. Um, in the signals, the signal you want is uh, on, um, well, you have to give it a name, of course, and I gave it the name color one and I uh, shrunk it down a bit. It came in at the default 100 by 80 or something like that. So I made it 40 by 40. You can make it whatever color you want. And then there's the signals. The signal would be on, uh, on the color set signal and it comes out as on color one color set. So when somebody clicks on it, um, they'll get a color dialog and they get to pick a color. And when they select the color, well, of course, the button will go that color, but um, so we'll, I think that may actually end up being the default color, I don't know. Uh, but that will send a signal back to the, uh, back to your uh, program. So in your program, and, um, and first of all, at the front here, uh, in terms of color, you have to declare um, a pointer, a widget pointer, color one is what I used, and um, pull it out of the builder, color one, and again, the name was color one. And then I go down to the end here, and here is where you get the signal. Uh, on color one color set and it receives a GTK color button pointer okay the next thing here is a GDK RGBA and that's how it's a uh, GIMP desktop um, color and those colors are used to set all sorts of things um, you use those in uh, GTK in order to set the colors of various entities but it is a standard color um, structure that comes back and the structure looks like this um, there it is up there, GDK, RGBA. It's got red, green, blue, and alpha. Alpha being uh, the transparency. Um, and it's one of the, uh, it's part of a larger set of structures and so forth. But um, all right, um, that are used um, in, in Cairo and Pango and things like that, which we don't need to worry about right now. So I declare color to be an instance of that structure. And then I call GTK color chooser get RGBA. Now I have a color button pointer and I need to cast it down to a, a GTK color chooser. So you see the uh, GTK color chooser cast here on C, which is the pointer. And I pass down the address of the structure. And what it does is it will return to me uh, the structure and uh, color.red, color.green, and so forth is the, um, and these are between zero and one. And it's a uh, double precision, or G-double as it's called. Coming back, I only printed out just plain old floating point. Um, and it'll give me the red, green, blue of what it is I did. Um, and um, I compile it, and we run it. And uh, so we, um, the, the important part is going to come out in the terminal back here. The terminal will actually give us the information because nothing... I could use it to set the color of the label or something. It's a little more complicated. But anyway, to get a color... Uh, there's my color dialog and let's pick green and um, it turned green and there's my numbers um, green being the highest uh, shade there um, there being some red and some blue and the alpha is one so there there is that color that particular color is um, this amount of red green and blue all right so we got a color picker and you, you know you can do it again if i wanted to pick um a dark blue, something like that. And again, you're going to say, I should have left some space in there. Um, these are all relatively dark, but blue is clearly the highest. All right. Um, so that can be useful, um, especially if you use it in combination with something else. The other is a file chooser, um, the file chooser. And where I got that is uh, from file chooser. Uh, I can find it again. Um, uh, it should be under control here. File chooser button. There it is. Uh, GTK file chooser button. And I already dragged it up here. And uh, I probably should have um, aligned it a little better in terms of the other things. I wasn't really going too far. Um, you don't get too much um, uh, too much latitude with it, um, with the sizing, because you want, want the, um, the file name to fit in there. Okay. Um, you've got it in here. Now, how are you going to get it out? You want the, um, in the uh, file chooser button dialog, you want um, 
you you know you, uh, you don't um yes you want that uh on um okay i gave it the name file one I've been giving them all the same kind of names you want on the file set and on file one file set that's the signal um for me anyway because mine's called file one uh, but it's the file set signal and so that's the signal that'll happen when you do a dialog and, and that's what a dialog looks like it pops up and it shows you um uh, what's um your recent most recent and um things of that nature um so let's try running it um again uh, it was already in the, um, let's look at the code first when we say that um in terms of the code uh there's the file chooser widget uh file one and i go down here and i also pull it out in the G in the gtk builder so it's down here as well and at the very bottom here 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 is the um here is the uh code for the callback and the callback of course has the same name on file one uh, file set and you receive a gtk file chooser button pointer and how do you get the values out well you get two possible values one of which is going to be the file name which will include directory information it'll be the full file name um so it's gtk file chooser get file name and i had to project the file chooser button down to gtk file chooser uh, it has to be cast much like the one up above it had to be cast uh, from button to chooser um, and i passed the pointer in this case it's f uh, so that'll return to me the file name and then the folder name will come back gtk file chooser get current folder um, and again it, it's been projected down to be a file chooser of f now the file the folder name will only come back if you um if you change folders you know, a lot of times it'll come back empty um, if i chose it from one of the more recent but um so let's go give it a try and um here we get it running so i click this guy here and <clears throat> pick lawyer text uh, text and um there it is um it shows up in the box uh, and uh, file name is equal to um, um slash home slash okay and that's my home directory lawyer.txt and the fo the folder name came back null it's actually a null pointer i should have checked for it uh, because i didn't do any any change of directory i don't know how they come up with that logic but um because i was in most recent but if i went to like tb2 and um and i clicked on that you'll see it comes back with two of them first of all it's slash media slash okane slash tb2 slash nt and it also comes back and tells me what the directory is so by there is a slight difference between choosing from the most recent used files and files that um and a, and a new directory I, um, I, I so i i don't know understand why it would come back null but that's the way they do it uh, it's only when you actually select a new directory do you get it back but in both cases for the file name you get all the directory information leading up to it all right so there's two brand new widgets to play with uh, one is the uh, being the color chooser um, and the other being uh, the file chooser